Hello everyone, this is Mr. Creeps, and today welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a custom block with a GUI that is also that also requires an item to click on it. So basically a lock chest. So let's get right into this. The first thing we're going to do is create our block. This really doesn't matter and it doesn't really have to do anything. You can create anything you want on here. But the most important thing is under tile entity. So what we're going to do is we're going to check the enable tile entity for this block. And then we'll just save it for now. We'll go to the plus right here and create a brand new GUI. So if I can find it right there, there we go. I'll just save this to forge create GUI. And then here we go. So we can change it to GUI with slots. We actually have the inventory right here. Now I'll make it so that there is, I don't know, maybe like just a few slots here. Just so it doesn't take like an hour to place every single one of them. Because it takes a really long time to place them, so. I know it's not the most entertaining thing to see someone place a bunch of slots. And even that's uneven. But I'm going to keep it like that. <laughs> but there we go. So now what we can do is we'll go back to our block right here. We can go to Tile Entity. Change the bind um, this block to GUI. Change that to the Force Create GUI. We're actually not going to make it open bound GUI on right click. Because then we'll actually um, not be able to set our trigger um, to make it. So that we actually have to have an item in our hand. The size of the inventory. Um, if we go right here. And see here we have 5 slots. But also another easy way to see it is slot number four and then you just want to add plus one so that'll be five there the max deck size we'll just keep that to 64 drop items from inventory when the block is destroyed basically this will be kind of like um if you uncheck this will be kind of like a shulker box i'm gonna keep it um not checked so it's like a um so it is like a um like a chest enable block output comparator data that right there has to do with redstone and then also i don't recommend that you take any of these things out because it's acting like a chest, not like a furnace or a crafting table. So now what we can do is we can go to triggers now and then go to on block right clicked, create procedure, and go to flow control, getting the if block right here, going to entity data, getting the main um, item and main hand of target entity, going to logic, getting the um, one that matches with the that, that matches the color of the item in main hand of event target entity. Then going to Minecraft components, getting the thing that also matches with the exact same color. Or also, you, um, uh, also these exact symbols right here. You can see like like that little cube and then the little diamond, cube diamond and cube diamond. Now choose our key. I'm just gonna be choosing I don't know something generic for a key like an oak sapling will be our key, <laughs> which is kind of a weird key, but. You know, um, yeah, so now what we can do is um, in the do section, we'll make it so that it will open up our GUI. So we can go to player procedures and then go to open screen um, pass location at XYZ um, GUI for straight GUI. We can save our mod element and save the mod element. So now everything should work in game. So here we are in game, and now if I get my block over here, the force crate, and if I try to click on it regularly, nothing's going to happen. But if I get my oak sapling here, if I can find it, you know, search it up. Oh, it's in decoration. No. I can now open it, and if I put my, I don't know, force crate inside there, it opened again, and my game's crashed. Never mind. Sorry, that was just a bit of lag. And see here. I can open it again and it acts as a chest with an inventory. So yeah, that is exactly how you can create a, um, that's exactly how you can create a chest with a lock chest. So yeah, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, I'd be greatly appreciated for you to subscribe. Also, if you have any more tutorial ideas, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. The next tutorial I'm going to make is a trader and PC tutorial. And then after that will be a dimension tutorial. If the next, if the next update of M Creator will release, which will probably be in a little while, but you know, we have to wait because I can't on I honestly can't wait to see what will be in the next update. So yeah, see you guys next time. Goodbye guys.